Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3 with me, Get Daved. I think I know where I'm going now. So, while we're exploring, a little bit of Dragon Quest uh, info for you. Although the series creator, creator uh, denies it, they're sort of a pair of trilogies. By the way, watch out for those mana wars, they can paralyze you. Um, the first three games deal with uh, Loto, Roto, however you want to say it, Erdrick in the original series, um, and sort of the legend of that character. Ooh, interesting enemies. Uh, based entirely on previous experience, I'm going for Kravis first. Also, name most resembles an STD slang. Those guys are usually dangerous, the Torturagon types. They often have inconveniently high defense. Alright, uh, maybe I should have considered using magic. Oh well. I'm gonna cast Increase on everyone because, uh, you know, somebody just tried lowering all of it. And... I still don't really have a great spell for doing damage to one enemy, but... Ice Bolt is... Oh, jeez. It's alright. As you can see, Torture Gun has pretty high... Uh, defense. Let's try hammering on him with Ice Bolt. And... Sap. Should have done that a bit differently, because Marl routinely goes last. 33 damage! That's pretty good! I don't remember Ice Bolt being that strong. damage from the main character, and that's a problem. I think we're gonna have to keep relying on Ice Bolt there. Does the main character have anything better yet? No. In the original version of the game for the NES, there was uh, a little bug where if you just maxed out the number of characters you could have waiting for you in Ruta's Tavern, uh, they would learn all the spells that the character currently has right now. Fun fact! Uh, I'll go northeast. So yeah, the first three Dragon Quest games are all about Roto. Interesting. Here we go. Oh no. Ah, I wanted that. Dang it. Well, well, we're here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm checking a map. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna go back to Portoga. And we're gonna do everything right. Incidentally, dice game number three is near New Angles. Looked that one up, I did, I did. It's King Squid! Let's get him! I've always hated sea life forms. Because that's what people call them in my neighborhood. Alright. The next three games in the Dragon Quest uh, series, 4, 5, and 6, form what's often called the Heaven Trilogy or the Xenophia Trilogy. And they all thematically link and have to do with, you know, the Xenithian. Helm, sword, shield, and armor, uh, and sort of a legend of a angel falling from the ca er, the castle Zenithia and falling in love with a woodsman and producing a hero hybrid of the two races. Uh, it's cooler in the game. I know it sounds weird when I say it, but you should really give them a shot. Dragon Quest IV is actually probably my favorite in the series, although eight makes a very strong bid. And this won't be interesting. 200 and some experience points, though. That's pretty good, in my humble opinion. Uh, there's a village right here. Let's visit. Tadanki. Um, it appears to be ruins. I don't think I want to go there. But... I would like to take what these people have left. Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> yeah? Doesn't look like you're doing too well so far. Giant shears, only usable by, uh... Hmm. Only usable by soldiers. Or warriors, pardon me. Hmm. I will be investing in some of this stuff. After I deal with my inventory. I'm gonna off-screen that. Alright, inventory managed. Also, I used all those seeds I had uh, stashed up. So, magic armor looks pretty tempting, because I always like a chance to increase the main character's defense. It's pretty expensive, though. In the original game, it also restored your hit points with every step. I doubt it does that in this one, but still. Nothing to shake a stick at, that's for sure. Um... I'm gonna do some buying and selling and try getting all this gear for more people, so uh, I'll let you tune back in once we're at the, the end of that. Alright, equipment managed. So this is where we're sitting. I sold, well, basically all the superfluous stuff, uh, and picked up magic armor, magic she- er, and uh, horned hats for them. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing stellar. Sold a bunch of the old crap, though. Parted ways with the boomerang, even though you can't get it back. Oh, yeah. Crazy old man. Actually, back here is a really likely place for a small metal, so we will walk through the poisoned area. No, nothing? Random tiles like that always have good stuff. Really? If only we could acquire this ability somehow. Don't want to stay in your hovel. I'm the son of Ortega. Oh. And, okay. I see some fun times ahead. Uh, jump in. Okay. Alright. We can do that. There's one treasure chest. There might be more down here, but... Ooh. I almost killed my party members with poisoning. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned with, uh... MP conservation, so we'll just do it this way. It is often not the most efficient to heal your characters using this shortcut. Like, if they are missing... <laughs> yeah, Marl's out of HP. Life Nut. Fantabulous. Alright, so we're just missing one on the main floor. I have no idea where it could be. Unless I failed to search this pot correctly, but I'm pretty sure I did. There is a good chance it could be in there, actually. So, on that assumption, let's get out of here. There was nothing that interesting here. And actually, let's just end the video. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll seek out that... Eh, no, there's... There's time for one more thing. I think we've got enough uh, small metals. I checked and I was carrying seven, which is... You know... About as high as I can count. Normally the Metal King lives in a slightly more dignified, uh, you know, place than at the bottom of a well. In Australia, no less. 31, we've done it! Oh, we're in a strength ring. Smart glasses, those are all for changing your personality type. Yeah, strength plus 7, I uh, think I have one and I'm not using it. But I guess, you know, Marl doesn't have... Oh. I highly recommend using all of your nuts 
on uh, the main character, just because the main character is never going to change class and have their stats halved. Kind of makes a mockery of everything you hold dear if you, you know, spend a nut on a character and promptly have the benefit it gives you. Alright, we're going to end it there. I'll see you guys next time.